Hello everyone and welcome to World of Warcraft Ascension. Uh, I'm making a class spotlight here of a private WoW server that I've been playing on in my free time pretty heavily. Um, it has been quite a joy to be honest to, to kind of take a break um, from the daily grind of making YouTube videos and kind of re-immerse myself in World of Warcraft as it was a major part of my gaming history. Um, as is with many people at this point, you know, it's such an old game. So, first off, I want to start with telling you guys what you're kind of looking at. Of course, you're kind of looking at some Molten Core footage. Um, we were in Molten Core uh, with my guild that I'm in, um, clearing a few of the bosses. And so that's going to be playing in the background as we go forward. Taking a look at the class that I made in WoW Ascension. Now, for those of you who do not know, WoW Ascension is essentially a classless World of Warcraft. And what that means is you normally would pick your race and then your class associated um, with those races. And then you have your standard abilities that all your class, anyone who else shares your class, have. And it, it kind of makes... Um, you all fit in the same box, so you have your paladins, you know, your your rangers, uh, hunters, um, warriors, your mages and warlocks, and, and each of those are separate but also kind of similar, and in, in play style. So, what this system does is essentially remove all the barriers between all the classes. As you level up, um, you get points to spend into attributes. You get points to spend into any talent that you want in the game. Um, you also get access to all of the abilities in the game um, as you level up as well. Of course, there's limitations and uh, things like that to make sure that everyone's using every single ability in the game. That would be ridiculous. So I think so far um, in my time playing, it, it, it's just been a blast. It kind of re-energizes a little bit of the World of Warcraft a nostalgia for me because I'm going in through the same zones that I've been to hundreds of times um, in just a little bit of a new different way. So this video we are going to be going over the class that I made that I'm using now. Uh, this is the Argent Crusader class. At least that's the name I'm calling it. You guys can call it whatever you want. You can probably just call it a paladin, to be honest. Um, but the main concept for this class is to improve and add function to the base idea of a paladin in World of Warcraft. Uh, the focus on strength, armor, and spell damage is what we are after. Um, it has a uh, selection of talents, um, which will then increase our armor. And from armor, we can get attack power and then into spell power. So it kind of has this funneling of attributes across all channels which is pretty nice to have um especially you know coming from a guy who played a lot of paladin uh in you know vanilla uh, burning crusade and wrath of the lich king that uh, getting some other classes talents in combination with the wide variety in paladin without any prereqs is pretty pretty interesting what you can kind of do with this class um yeah, so let's begin by looking at the core abilities of the class. These will be involving damage uh, to the enemy and may also um, need to acquire some talents to get these abilities. Uh, the video here is a quick guide to the functions of this class. It's not going to go over every aspect of the build, but there will be a link in the video description to the uh, image so you guys can go ahead and just copy all the talents and skills that I have uh, selected so far at level 60. Uh, some of it's tailored specifically to rating. I don't know how well it is to probably level as this class. So I would recommend being level 60 at this point in time of this video before maybe trying this out. Uh, so combat. First thing is white damage. You know, the normal auto attacks of the uh, Argent Crusader pretty much the bulk of your damage. Um, as is with many of the melee classes in World of Warcraft, the auto attack or auto, auto shoot function is a heavy portion of that. So keeping that in mind, we want to start with Seal of Righteous. Seal of Righteous is a pretty decent on hit effect when you hit with a melee weapon. It does holy damage every time you successfully hit with your main hand 
weapon. Um, if you have a two-hander, it does do more, but there's a reason this class requires one-handers, and we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, but for now, we're just going to assume you're using a one-hander in this whole whole setup here. You can also get Seal of Command. Um, Seal of Command does holy damage as well on swings, but it also cleaves out two additional enemies. Um, this is more for AoE, um, doing damage in mass and in this case for raiding i wanted more single target so i picked up seal of righteous the next main damage ability basically used every cooldown is judgment now you wouldn't think judgment is the one of the main damage abilities of the class um, as judgment usually hits for a relatively low amount but with the talents that we choose um, it does increase the the damage output dramatically between 100 percent bonus to crit damage on it and then also increasing uh, the damage of Judgment itself by 50%. So that is something to um, to keep in mind. That's that's from like the Holy Tree and combination with the Ret Tree doing those two effects. And it makes Judgment uh, one of the highest damage abilities that I have at my disposal currently. Other than that, there's Hammer of Righteous. Hammer of Righteous is a protection tree talent. It's at the very bottom. And it is... Um, a kind of like the main weapon damage attack that uh, this class offers. It's a cleaving attack. It hits three targets for um, the DPS of your weapon, and it does holy damage. So your spell power does affect this and increases its damage dramatically as well. So um, big portion of my damage, and these are pretty much the top three usually. If I would to take a look at my DPS history in most fights. These are the three things doing bulk of the damage for this class. We do also have, of course, Exorcism. Exorcism is a classic Paladin single target damage spell. Uh, it does require the talent Art of War to really be functional here, simply due to it does have a casting time otherwise. And uh, Art of War just basically allows you to use this spell within combat. Um, without having to stop your auto attack swinging, your your seals from hitting, and other things like that. We have the another single target spell, Holy Shock. This is from the Holy Tree. Holy Shock, single target spell, does decent damage, probably about as much as Exorcism, but you can also use it as a heal for the raid, and it offers a little bit of utility for yourself. Say the healers are busy, uh, you can throw it on yourself, keep yourself alive, because a dead DPS generally does no DPS in World of Warcraft. At least that's the theory uh, behind that. We have Concentration. Uh, this is a um, your standard AoE for Paladins, of course. And it does holy damage and just an AoE. It takes over time. And it does a decent amount when you get enough spell power. So um, those are pretty much the main damage sources that we have we have other abilities such as divine storm we have hammer wrath holy wrath these are a bit minor but can also be used as fillers because um, the combat rotation for this is actually whatever is off global cooldown or cooldown in general you are using so you're kind of always using abilities in certain ways kind of weaving them between each other where you can and then uh, just repeating that process over and over. We do have uh, a shaman ability, a flame tongue weapon. This is applied to both of our weapons because dual wielding. Might as well try and get as much of the damage out as possible. Um, not only does this do damage off of our auto attacks because it does proc some damage here and there, but it also increases our spell power farther. And that is, as we were saying, very important for the Argent Crusader here. But onward from there, we do have some utility with this class. It's not a major buffing class. Um, in raids, most other classes will pick up a lot of the major ones, such as Blessing of Kings, um, Mark of the Wild, and, um, you know, uh, Brilliance, Arcane Brilliance, your Fortitudes. Those are usually handled by other classes, so you're almost strictly into a DPS role, but you can bring some things to the table. We do have Blessing of Might, so that's going to help increase the physical damage of all of your raid party and, of course, yourself. We can bring a cleanse and a decurse to the party. 
Uh, Decurse is great for a lot of these raid bosses that um, there's a lot of spells going on and uh, being able to cleanse yourself and assisting the healers with doing so can really uh, make a fight go a little bit more smooth. You know, you don't want to rely on everyone else to uh, take those debuffs off you. It's, it's kind of good to be able to do that yourself. We're also bringing replenishment through our judgments, which is up almost consistently. This is giving mana per five back to the whole raid or group and also giving you mana to use so you can keep using your abilities. This is a very mana intensive build. We're not using any energy, we're not using any rage. So being able to sustain your mana pool is kind of important because without it, your DPS kind of starts trailing off there at the end. Uh, we can do minor healing, as I said, with Holy Shock. Um, it's pretty flexible to do so. Toss one to the main tank, or maybe the healer is focusing on the main tank and the healer is low, and maybe you just kind of see that, so you toss it to the healer. So he doesn't have to worry about himself as much, and the healer can kind of continue to heal the raid, keeping everyone alive. And doing that every so often can just kind of swing the tide of battle a little bit in your favor, and it's, it's just um, a versatile ability that I, I really enjoy having this Holy Shock. Um, not something that you would normally get in vanilla WoW or classic WoW in, in, in any manner or form, but uh, in this in this format, it is really nice. So that's some of the utility you do bring as the Argent Crusader. Moving on, uh, the core talents to make this class function have a simple two-step plan to them. Use armor and stats to gain attack power, and from attack power, generate spell power because attack power will not only increase your physical uh, deriving abilities, such as Hammer of Righteous or, say, uh, Seal of Righteous and your auto attacks and things like that, but um, it'll also generate spell power, which also then boosts Hammer of Righteous, Seal of Righteous, Exorcism, all the actual holy damage that you're offering to uh, the, the target of your rage at that point. So to do this, we have the following warrior talent. It will increase your attack power um, by how much armor you have. Um, with plate mail and the combination of self buffs, we do have you know ice armor, uh, demonic armor from Warlock. Um, you get Mark of the Wild and things like that. You can self buff your armor to a pretty high level. And then that just all translates into attack power. And that allows you to also get some other stats you wouldn't normally get otherwise and kind of round out the character and also try and, and fill in a bit of the gap that is, uh, you know, the vanilla WoW doesn't have much retribution paladin gear available. So pretty excited for Burning Crusade on that note. Other than that, uh, we'll be using Mental Dexterity here to convert all that attack power, or a good portion of it, into spell power. Increasing all the source kind of damage sides of the Crusader, and overall your DPS. So, so it's kind of this balancing act of how much attack power do you want, how much do you want to focus on spell power. Would it be better to wear cloth gear and just stack spell power? Probably not. I don't think you would be able to get as much from there. In my current gear set, I'm wearing a decent amount of epics, um, five or four pieces of tier one um, for Molten Core, and I'm getting around fully buffed, close to 2,000 attack power, which then translates to about 600 spell power, which is pretty high for a level 60 to have for sure. It's, it's, it's kind of an odd feeling to have such a high stat pull in like 8,000 armor, which is just a little crazy to think about, especially since you're not even using a shield. From this point, most of our talents are spent within the Paladin class, increasing holy damage, damage from seals and their judgments. Holy isn't usually viable damage source in World of Warcraft, luckily, since Wrath of the Lich King talents are here on this server. We can use them uh, to the best of our ability to just kind of raise everything up at once using a combination of retribution holy and just a little bit of protection um, i'm sure people would probably be able to pump out a little bit more of an efficient way to do this but if you take a look in the description of the video down below take a look at the build there you'll be able to tweak it as you see fit and for what kind of gear, gear you may be wearing so that's just something 
to keep in mind as uh, we keep clearing through Molten Core here. So that's the base concepts of this class. This class um, took me a little while to build, and you know, it's still kind of a work in progress, but I hope you guys kind of enjoyed the base overview and kind of a, a look, if you haven't heard of World of Warcraft Ascension, I would suggest checking it out. It, it's a really fun kind of World of Warcraft experience for those who might be a little bored of the same uh, formula that's been going on for the past, you know, 10, over 10 years of World of Warcraft. And it, it just kind of makes me just have some fun again. Try some things. It's kind of almost like the path of exile of World of Warcraft at this point. All right, so... That's it for this video today. If you guys enjoyed it, do leave a comment down below. Leave a like. And uh, tell me if you guys do play on the server. You can find me on the Sonara server. Uthris, of course. Of course. That's my paladin name of, of, shoot, 15 years now. And shoot me a, a mail or, or comment here on how you like the class maybe some suggestions, things you might want to tweak and add. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.